I take my work as a taxi driver very seriously indeed, because at the end of the day, when you're driving people to the airport, the doctors, the shops or anything, you're responsible for that person's safety. All the while, they're in the car with you. And every now and again, I read a story about a taxi driver that's been up to no good and puts a bad smell and name on everyone else. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right. I am at home today, well till later on when I'm in my taxi and off to Heathrow. I think the people land about 11 o'clock, something like that. I'll have to check up on that later. Well, speaking of taxi driving, it's, it's that time in a taxi driver's life again where you have to renew your uh, taxi driver's license badge. And there's various hoops you have to jump through, including a uh, check with the old disclosure and barring service to make sure you've been good and not been up to anything naughty and we have to do that every three years uh, for the council that I'm licensed by and I think it varies from place to place well every now and again you get a bad apple slip through the net either nothing comes up or they decide after becoming a taxi driver they're going to uh, be a bit naughty Yes, this charming individual goes by the name of John Simpson, 63 years old, and up until fairly recently, he was a taxi driver up Scotland Way. And the reason he is not a taxi driver anymore is this. Yes, he's just been found guilty of being a pervert. Over the course of roughly five years, two boys roughly 18 years old at the time he decided it would be a good idea to perform a lewd act on them in the back of his car when they were drunk and unable to defend themselves properly i know both of them gave him a pretty hard smack at the end of it which was obviously well deserved and he made uh, not very nice comments to a third person and was also found guilty of that taxi license stripped job gone and with a bit of luck, he will do some porridge. He needs punishing for his crime, and he needs holding to account. But it really concerns me, a bit like all the stories we hear about the police force, the vetting procedures with councils. How are these people getting through? Are these DBS checks worth the uh, time of day? I mean, I, I have to spend probably about 40 quid every three years getting one done. I mean, I'm squeaky clean, I can tell you that, but there are a lot of people that aren't or they've done something in their past which is a little bit questionable and they end up driving a cab and then they're responsible for people. Some things like, I don't know, nicking a packet of fags out the shop when you were 16 years old or something like that, fair enough, but some serious things, especially when this kind of stuff happens, Big no-no, big alarm bells in my head. Tell me if you've had any bad experiences with cab drivers below. And uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you later on. Toodaloo.